Yo, what's going on guys? It's Bjorn here again, Goosebumps Aussie fan, bringing you another video. So today we are going to be, of course, meeting up once again with Danny at Gold Coast Picker to check out the Tip Shop Recycling Center. Now, I don't know if you guys remember, but in one of my like really old thrifting videos, we did go there, I believe, once and we didn't find anything, of course. But from what I have been told, if you get there really early, like on opening time, a lot of the collectors actually end up going there. And yeah, there has been some pretty awesome finds over the past like six months to a year. So hopefully today is the day we might find something goosebumps. Just waiting for that damn gate to open. So we arrive at the recycle center and what happened? It's not open till eight o'clock, we're an hour early. <laughs> But there's people already lining up. Yeah, and I told Reese the next minute we got a buddy a tag along. <laughs> so what are we gonna do? Coffee. Where, where are we going? Coffee. Zarafis. And there's a lineup already as well. Zarafis? So. Yeah. Alright. Yeah. So we're gonna head to Zarafis and uh, yeah, fill up on coffee. And then we'll come back. We'll come back. Hey Siri, take me to the tip shop. Why are you asking Siri to do everything? Because Reese takes us to the wrong places. <laughs> no, he doesn't. Hey, we still got here, didn't we? Yeah, we got to get try and get to the tip shop. I have a general idea of where I'm going, right? We got our coffee, but uh, now we're going to be a little bit late to the tip shop. I mean, well, do you think we're going to be late? Or yeah, yeah, we're going to be late. Should be right. <laughs> How late are we going to be? Dorm. Just fucking ram it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, See you guys when we get there. <laughs> Oi. We're here, it's all right. You know enough about people. You'd be surprised how dumb 90% of people are the go places, right? <laughs> so we're finally here, got our coffee, and um, hopefully... Good luck, gentlemen, I'm gonna enjoy my uh. cigarette, and I'll come in and get all the bargains, all right? Yeah. <laughs> I can safely tell you there's no goosebumps. Yeah, but look for What is it? Jurassic Park. Oh shit. Found something Jurassic Park. How old is it? Uh, 2000 probably. Um, 2000. New movie's coming out, so that'll Oh, yeah, yeah. Anytime a new movie comes out for something, like even when the Goosebumps movie came out, guys, as you know, people just went nuts. All of a sudden they wanted all the old books. I went to a book festival and I just saw trolleys full of them. So there you go, little tip. I had this exact book as a kid. So we got this uh, Tommy Pickles Rugrats balloon from 1997. Wow. So, uh, yeah, we're definitely going to be picking that up. Nice. Sure. What is that? No idea. It's made in it's Australia. Interesting. Yeah. So we finished at the tip shop, only found that Rugrats balloon. I mean, we did find some like Simpsons items and stuff too, but... I just... gave it away to a customer that comes in and buys Simpsons stuff every week. See, there you go. Yeah. Got to look out for everybody else, because I believe in good karma. We'll come back to you. Well, it's funny, you gave it to me and then I gave it to someone else, so... Yeah, see? Good. Went to a good home. There you go. So we've just arrived at the next thrift store, guys, and uh, yeah, I have no idea if we're gonna find some goosebumps today. What did you just find? Uh, well, I don't play video games and I don't have a girlfriend, but 
It says I love it when my girlfriend lets me play video games. <laughs> Do you know anyone that would wear pink shorts? Open sesame. Anytime I see this kind of shit, guys, I just wonder why can't it be goosebumps? Why? Well, I'll tell you why. Because it's all at my place. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, guys. Underground too. We got Tony and my boy Bam Majera. I also collect Bam stuff, so if you guys got anything, hit me up. Yeah, because the last one here is so March 15th. So far, no goosebumps again. What is going on? We're going to find them. We're going to find them. Even just a book. I don't care. I'll take a new goosebumps book. Like one of the new Horrorland books or like the most wanted Slappy World. I don't care at this point. Have you ever looked in my back seat yet? I haven't told you. There's not goosebumps back there. Yeah, no, I there. You. no, I haven't. There isn't. There isn't. You're right, there isn't. <laughs> So we've just arrived at the tip shop recycling center, but uh, we took another wrong turn. Who keeps doing that? <laughs> Every time we go to a tip shop, we're making wrong turns everywhere. Woohoo! Recycle Street! It actually looks really similar to the other one. Appreciate it, buddy. Thank you. So we're at the wrong place again. Yawn. What is going on? You're the, uh, what's it called? Navigator. You're in the navigating chair. Oh, we found it. Recycle market. Over there. Where do you park? Anywhere, I guess. Somewhere here. Is there parking in there? I don't think so. Oh, look at that. We found it. Are we happy? <laughs> when you find your goosebumps items, you will be. He ain't wrong, guys. If I don't find goosebumps here, I'm going to be pissed. Look at that. You know what that says? You know what that reads? Goosebumps. Well guys, we're here and uh, hopefully we will find some fucking Goosebump books. Ah. This is the motivation I needed. Just keep hunting, just keep hunting, you eventually find some goosebumps, goosebumps. At least someone found something. Yeah, $10 into 250 Do you know someone's actually selling these pieces individually? Just these glow-in-the-dark tokens, and I've checked, they're all there. 20 oh, bucks each. Seriously? Yep. Oh, man. What did I say I was going to be if I didn't find any goosebumps in there? Devastated? Yeah, close enough. <laughs> Once again, no goosebumps. Where is it all? Seriously? We've been to so many places, and, like, nothing. Hey, why don't you get your fortune read? Ask it where you're gonna find all your good stuff, and that's where we'll go. Maybe this is the lucky one, eh? So we're here visiting Reese, gold and silver. And uh, yeah, we're gonna see what we can find, guys. Are they open for food yet? They are 12. Don't eat. Oh, I can't. 
Not my fucking wife! A few Pokemon lovers out there. <laughs> Got some more Harry Potter in there. So we've just walked into Gold and Silver and uh, got this fucking amazing Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone poster. Now on DVD. VHS. And it's video easy as well, so I think we're gonna grab that one man. <laughs> 100%. That is sick. So we finally found some goosebumps. We got some stickers and postcards, so uh, holy shit man. They're we're 95. 95. We've been looking all day, have not been able to find anything. We walk into Gold and Silver, the greatest pawn broker on the Gold Coast, and we got goosebumps. And that Harry Potter poster. So I've had this for years. For I, years. I found it in a box the other day, I was like, oh, I don't know who won that. Fuck <laughs> yes. Done deal, man. We're getting those. Look at that guys. Fuck sick eh? So fucking amazing, yeah. That's what I mean, I kept those. They weren't worth anything. They're just cool. That was from the fan club pack as well, so that's what makes it even more amazing. And look at the condition of these things. They've been in boxes floating around in my shed for years. I was surprised they're not ruined. Yeah. No, you know? they're amazing. My favorite Goosebump book is actually that one there too, the Horror Camp Jelly Jam. I, I didn't mind the Cuckoo one. Yeah, yeah, Cuckoo Clock of Doom. No, that is so sick, man. Last but, shop of the day. One and... of them got a bit water damaged, that one. That's all right. When my shed got flooded. That's fine, man. I'll take them. There we go, final stop of the day. <laughs> Success, guys. We got Goosebumps stickers, man, and postcards, so yeah. And we got that Harry Potter poster, and we also got that Rugrats balloon, so not a bad day, really, overall. Yeah, and, well, it's funny, because I thought I did well with that Simpsons board game, but the Motu came home for the win. Like, subscribe, hit that bell notification to start today with all the future content. Share it with your mates, comment below. We'll see you in the next week.